First of all, I think what is important uh, that I want to highlight is automation. At the end of the day, you actually build a product because that automation has a life cycle to it. Eh? So things evolve. Eh? So, and as a result, you have to maintain it and stuff like that. So I always say when you talk about automation, I always say you're building a product or you're, and you can either do it yourself or you can actually rely on a vendor to have that for you. Now, if you then look at the characteristic of such a product or platform, uh, of course, infrastructure as code, having the ability to do it in the same philosophy as you, as today development uh, processes work. So you want to have a CI CD pipeline. So you want to test of it. So you want to be able to try things out before you move it into production. You want to have uh, the right tooling that you can able to do linting and, and all the, the things that the developers are using as a, as a platform. So it's basically what we call these days infrastructure as code type of platform on which you are able to describe in a declarative way, hey, I want this to happen from the network and that then implements and you can use, for example, a digital twin to validate and to test certain things before you actually put it into production. So these are the type of tools that are important uh, to have that. Now, another important aspect of that is the openness of the platform, because what you see is that there is so many uh, environments out there that we want to ensure that people can extend and can accommodate certain requirements that they have within their environment that are very specific for that particular customer, right? So as a result, we need to also build that platform or that product in a way that people can then use it based on their needs and their requirements and that we can accommodate uh, for it uh, on an easy way. I think they are starting already, right? So it's not that they must, eh? but what you see is that because of the uh, responsiveness that, that people are asking uh, uh, from the service, the second thing is, as I was mentioning, 5G and this spectrum of, of capabilities. And in order to monetize it, automation is, is critical, right? Because without that, that uh, monetization and that automation is that monetization will become very difficult because when you go to the enterprise, it is uh, important that you actually have to be able to customize uh, to a certain extent. Also something which is important is you need to somehow standardize. Uh, in order to automate, you need to standardize. Now, the, I think the, the, the sweet spot is when you can do that in a way that you can also accommodate change, right? And so it's the, the mix of those two that are going to be important, right? Because if you look at, at uh, 5G and the, the, and the abilities that it enables towards the customers, right? so towards on one end, you can do ultra reliable services with it. You can do low latency from it. You can look at uh, remote healthcare. So that is a, a plethora of capabilities with it. And so, what is of course critical to be able to accommodate those different environments. Now, of course, you want to want to standardize, but on the other hand, you want to also be flexible to be able to move the needle if you have to, because uh, to be honest, we are still exploring those markets uh, together. And as a result, nobody has the silver bullet yet. What you see in general, uh, if you look to predictions, uh, personally, I see that the adoption rate of automation activities are going to increase. And I believe that they will increase uh, between uh, 10, 20 or 30%. So, uh, because you see that more and more people are struggling uh, with these tasks. It's a pretty significant increase uh, because uh, of the fact that, that you see that people are struggling to deal with all these activities. And I, digitization has a, a nice, element to it is that everything is more consumable and stuff like that but also it also means that the speed at which things are uh, are required or what the expectations is of the end customer is it always in, improves and increases and increases and increases so as a result in order to keep up with that demand we actually have to automate there is no way out